हेलो रोन वेलकम टू पार्ट थर्टी वन ऑफ एडवांस ई कॉम सीरीज इन लेरावल सेवन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन द प्रोडक्ट्स मॉड्यूल एंड इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू डिस्प्ले ऑल द प्रोडक्ट्स हियर इन अवर एंड विन पैनल एंड अलॉन्ग विद द एक्टिव इन एक्टिव स्टेटस एंड अलॉन्ग विद द डिलीट फंक्शनैलिटी दैट वी हैव डन इन लास्ट वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू शो uh the category as well as the section for every product okay so it is required here because otherwise we will not able to know that which product belong to which uh, which category or which section okay so uh, it is very much required so we are going to uh, add i uh, add here category and section and uh, along with that uh, we are going to uh, uh, use sub query uh, uh, and we will also do the lequent relationships uh, for uh, for uh, uh, the category as well as section for getting the category as well as section for product okay so let's start on this video first of all we are going to create the uh, lequent relationships okay relationships are very important in laravel so we are going to use this one okay uh, instead of join we are going to do relations more because uh, it will make our query much faster okay and also with one query we can get the complete data like uh, from product we are going to get the category details we are going to get the required section details we are going to get the attribute details okay so with one query we can get the, all the details together in array or json string and that will make our task easier and faster okay so let's start first of all i am going to update the product model okay so uh, two relations i am going to add here first one uh, is for the category for getting the category name of the product okay you can see here that we want the category name we want uh, that this blue casual t-shirt belongs to which category so belongs to so we get the relation belongs to here okay so belongs to relation we are going to create Uh, so that we will come to know blue casual t-shirt belongs to which category okay so that is the casual t-shirts category is there but we need to get that and we are going to get that by defining the relation here in our product model okay so along with that we will also get the section we want blue casual t-shirt belongs to which section okay we already know that in sections men women and kids come okay but we want to show it here that this is the men product or this is the women product we don't know about this thing so that it will give more clarity when our client will work on the admin panel we want to give him user friendly admin panel so these two things are really important to show here in our products module okay so we will create the another uh, relation uh, that is belongs to relation that this product belongs to which section okay so there are two relation we are going to define here uh, first one is the category relation public function category okay so this relation we are going to define here and we are going to do like this return dollar this and we are going to define belongs to relation here okay belongs to in basic ecom series we don't used to do these kind of things uh, but in advanced series uh, we are going to do these kind of things in practice okay uh, much more we are going to do in advanced series uh, so Uh, you can follow this series from the beginning to clear everything if you come in between okay so here we are going to see we are going to uh, fetch the category uh, uh, id we are going to fetch from the category id see see we are having in products table category id is there in products table and we are going to fetch uh, our, our category name from that category id okay i am going to check here uh, our database is ecom6 database okay so here is the products and in products uh, see here we have the category id and we have the section id so it will be easier for us to get the category name from this category id so we are going to get uh, uh, our our details from category model from category model we are going to get the details and this is the category id that belongs to the product table okay from this category id we are going to check in category model and it will compare uh, to it will compare with the id of the category model okay 
so this one is going to compare with the id of the category model okay so i hope that this is very much clear to you and like this we are going to make the another relation and that is public function section and in section as well we are going to do such kind of relation return dollar this belongs to relation okay and this one also here we are going to find the section name from the section model okay so here i'm going to add the section model section model we know that belongs to the sections table and category model belongs to the categories table indirectly okay so section here it comes here and we are going to check with the section id okay we are going to take the section id from the products table and going to compare with the id of the sections table okay so here our section id will come like this fine so here uh, it comes so category id and section id will help us to get the detail from category uh, and section model okay so uh, now i'm going to open the press controller and here we have the query and here we are going to attach so here we are going to attach both uh, both the relation we are going to attach here so let's see uh, with and we are going to pick uh, take that in array like this uh, okay so here we are going to add the category and i'm going to take this section okay so i'm going to check here whether both are coming or not here i'm going to display both together like this here okay so you are getting the complete details here we are getting the complete category details uh, that belongs to this product okay so we are getting this uh, complete details of category and complete details of section as well of okay of both the products we are getting the uh, the um, category as well as section details so we can now easily we can now easily do add here in our products blade file we can add here now our uh, category as well as section okay so we will add two things here like this and i am going to add first i am going to add the category and we are going to add the section okay so here we are going to get the category we are going to get the uh, the parent category of this product we are not going to get the uh, means uh, we are going to get the category of the first level only that will come uh, that is adjacent to the product okay uh, so that that category we are going to uh, fetch and that will come like casual t-shirts category will come not t-shirts we will just get the casual t-shirts okay uh, okay so here uh, that i'm going to add here also like this and here see we are going to get product under category here we will add the category and after that uh, we are having the category name so here we are going to get the category name and here we are getting this section so we are getting this section here okay so here we are going to get the name okay so here you are going to get the name okay so now it is very much done we can check now that we able to uh, get the category as well as section of the product or not let's see okay i'm going to refresh here and you can see both the category and section is coming both these products belongs to casual t-shirts category and men's section okay so now it is very much clear that these products belongs to which category and which section okay so we able to fetch these two things and now one more thing we are going to do in this video we are going to create the sub query okay why we are going to create the sub query here first of all i'm going to tell you uh, for some advantage we are going to do sub query laravel provides us to a way to add the sub query as well see here the details see only category name and section name we require so see the unwanted data that we are fetching we are fetching uh, id parent id section id category name category image category discount description url meta title meta description meta keyword status created at update data. so much details we are getting uh, in category but these details are not required we just require the category name okay then why we are fetching so much data so it 
will make our query uh, will take a bit more time okay so we want to make our query fast and we want to get only that data that we require so it will make our task easy okay so for both these two things we are going uh, to add the sub query here so that we can just get the data we require okay so this is one of the reason we can add subquery here and there are other things as well that we want subquery in the case of when we want to find some data from where condition we want to find some particular data that uh, subquery will come into role and in many other ways it will come into role in basic ecom series we have not done this subquery but in advanced series we are going to do this one again and again to make our code uh, uh, to make our code uh, look a bit uh, clean fast and uh, advanced okay so uh, let's see uh, now I am going to add the subquery here in category C if you don't want to use subquery then it's not an issue if you are not that much good enough in Laravel or you want more time uh, then you can skip this one uh, and if you want to learn now then you can uh, do this one okay otherwise there is no compulsion of that if you uh, see that you uh, other things are more important if all the things uh, you got then you can come to this subquery okay so it is also not uh, that much tough it is easier enough once you get used to it you will able to add the subquery okay so here we will add uh, one function uh, like this one okay so here uh, we are going to get that uh, we uh, will add query here okay so once again ah yeah so here uh, dollar query and uh, okay and here we are going to add the subquery like this okay so dollar query we are passing because here we want to add something uh, to our query okay so i'm going to add the dollar query once again and here i want to add the select okay now here i want to select the particular columns that i want and here uh, id is required because id will make our relation without id our relation will not work so id is required because id is required in this part uh, because here id will work here id is work this id uh, will compare with this category id of products and this section id will compare with the section id so this id is required here and another thing is what uh, for which thing we are making this sub query which thing uh, for making uh, this uh, this complete query for name so the category name we require here okay because we want to fetch the category name okay you can add the semicolon here and that is done okay so this is the sub query here we pass query because we want to use the query inside this one okay and then we just uh, write that what we require okay, you can add the where condition also if you want if you require okay so here also we want uh, sub query so we are going to add here as well function you can just do that like this okay and uh, so dollar query and here you need to add dollar query okay, select id and then uh, we just require name is there in our sections table okay so now we can check see all data is gone all unwanted data is gone only id and name is left that we require okay so uh, see the unwanted data is all gone now the code is much more clear to uh, us okay uh, so here also you can do the select query you can add uh, to get the only the required data always get only the required data don't get the unwanted data it will make our query slow and also we will get confused by uh, checking so much data okay so i am going to disable once again these things and we'll refresh here see now again we are getting the category name and section name and only that thing we are getting now with the help of sub query okay so you know about sub query as well and you know about the relations in this video okay so in next video uh, we are going to start working on the add product functionality okay so stay tuned for next video 
uh, i hope that uh, this video is clear to you and earlier videos are also clear to you and if you have any query you can surely contact me in video description or you can uh, you can also follow my uh, facebook channel facebook slash stack developers okay uh, i will show you the channel name stack developers this is this is the channel and there is the group that you can follow and that group is uh, group stack developers okay so you can add your queries there as well this is the group that you can just search on facebook and do join this group okay uh, do join this group so that uh, uh, you can take benefit of this one uh, give uh, if you have any errors you can show me your errors in this group okay so you can join in this group and this group is link is facebook.com slash groups slash stack developers okay so you can add your query here okay i will respond and everyone else will get benefit of your query okay i will respond uh, with uh, the correct answer of your query i will uh, uh, i will uh, solve your issue and uh, every other person will take benefit of that thing okay so you can add your queries here as well okay so i hope that uh, uh, it is clear to you and if you are new then you can watch from the beginning advanced series watch from the beginning and if you want to uh, follow the basic series then it's your wish if you want to f uh, do in laravel 5.6 5.7 5.8 you want to follow the basic series then it's uh, up to you and if you want to follow the advanced series in laravel 6 and laravel 7 then uh, you can also do that okay uh, so if you have any queries then you can surely contact me okay then have a nice time goodbye